Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll discuss about how to design starter bars in columns in Tecla Structural Designer. Okay, so friends, for designing starter bars, as you, can, as you know, this building has been fully analyzed and designed. After that, if you want to show the starter bars in the drawing, you need to go to the draw option and here you have the drawing settings so in the drawing settings you can have the setting you can go over to the setting of the member schedules in the member schedules you have the option of column schedules so in the column schedules you can include these options in general you can just include these options include starter bars and then click on ok so let us first generate the column schedule I'll generate the column schedule of this particular column set CRCD1 and then click on OK. I can uh, rename the file and if I click on OK my AutoCAD file containing my column schedule will open. As you can see we have the reinforcement details of the various sections starting from the plinth level. So here the starter bar details are not been given. So now if I want to include the starter bars what should I do I'll just close this file I don't want to save it and after that what we'll do is we'll just go to the drawing settings and we'll just tick this include starter bars so after I tick on this I'll just click on OK so after I click on OK I'll just create another column schedule click on CRCD1 and then OK I'll again change the name of the file click on OK and after that we'll see the column schedule has been generated here as you can see starting from the plinth level to the top floor level and here we have the starter bars so they have used four bars of 12 mm as our starter bars so friends that's all for today's video in this video we had seen how to design the starter bars for columns in Tecla Structural Designer so friends, we keep coming up with more videos and if you want videos on any topic related to Tecla Structural Designer, you can just go to the comments below and leave your comments there. So that's all for today. Bye bye.